I was remembering a story I heard about years ago. I don't know if it's a true story. But anyway, this man went to a fortune teller because everything was always going wrong in his life from childhood to adulthood. Nothing worked out for him. So he goes to the fortune teller and he says the same thing. He's Everything he's tried to accomplish in life failed. None of his dreams came true. So I'm here today to ask, is the second half of my life going to be better so I have something to look forward to? So the fortune teller responded and said, no, the second half of your life is, is terrible also, the same, everything the same, but you'll get used to it. So that was the story. Anyway, I remembered that story because of my, my wrinkles, which of course, because of gravity, they increase. They increase all the time. And there's skin changes when you get older. The, the sunshine used to give, give me um, a lovely glow. But uh, now, um, you know, the skin doesn't react the same to the, the sunlight. But anyway, it's still healthy. So think about all the people in your life who aren't, you know, the most physically beautiful uh, human beings you've ever seen. You still love them. Think of the actors and actresses that are so popular, and some of them are even, you know, strange looking. You still love them. So concentrate on other things, being nice, being kind, caring about people. People know. Children and animals know. Mentally ill people can also tell who really cares and who doesn't. When I worked in a, uh, it was a communal living arrangement for court-ordered juveniles to go there and, and you know, get the mental health therapy. They lived in this house in a normal neighborhood. And uh, they had social workers there. And they had me there as a visiting nurse on call. And uh, they were males between the ages of like 13 and 17. And there was about 10 of them. And there was only two of us, this employee, this uh, man who was a veteran, and me, only two of us who the residents of that house never physically attacked. Never. The rest of the people there, the social workers, um, they, they hit them or they kicked them or they threw something at them. And you know what the difference was between the other employees and my coworker, the veteran, and me? Those youngsters there knew who really cared. So they didn't bother us. Now one time, um, one of the young men, I think he was about 16, we were both standing up. I don't know what I was doing. I was weighing them or taking their blood pressures or something. So he was taller than me, like about 12 inches taller. And he, and he gets behind me and, and he puts his arms around me and he's just smirking at me <laughs> and he wouldn't let me go. So, you know, I look up at him and I thought, um, well, let me say something funny or odd and, and that'll maybe make him laugh and he'll let me go. And I, I looked at him and I said, now you have to marry me. And he says, I don't mind marrying you. <laughs> so then, since I couldn't joke my way out of it, I just, I took my elbow and I just punched him just very lightly and he let me go. I mean, I could have... He was barefoot. I could have stepped on him, his foot really hard with my heel, but, you know, I care, so I'm not going to do that. So why am I bringing this up? Because people know you care, even criminals. I've run into things in the street 
and where like a fight is looks like it's going to break out any moment and, and I'll hold back and I'll watch and because there's always men there and I'm waiting you know well let the man take the lead you know they're taller than me they have muscles they can handle this but as the moments go by and they're just standing there watching like they're watching a TV show and they don't do anything then I go ahead and get involved so I just walk up to who's ever starting the problem and I say something to them very calm very friendly and so far it has always worked always because people look at me and they they think what is she who is she what is she all about so they're like perplexed and my goal is to calm them and to distract them and it works so think about that the key is you have to care there's an old song it's from a baseball musical it's called you gotta have heart I think I'll put that that song uh, below this video you gotta have heart lots and lots and lots of heart well they sing better than me that's about it